Hola, buenos dias, mis amigos. Hi, friends, and welcome. You know, actually, should I say buenos dias or buenas tardes or buenas noches? I guess it depends on where you are listening right now in the world. Either way, welcome, friends, to the Language Tutor podcast, our third episode. Well, guys, on the third lesson on our YouTube channel, the Language Tutor, we covered spelling in Spanish. And we talked about the fact that once you get the letters down in Spanish and really understand how those vowels work, you can pretty much spell anything in Spanish because we spell Spanish just like it sounds for the most part. There are some little things that we do just need to learn. You know, for example, you know, the word lapis, pencil. Well, we hear that at the end and we're, you might not know that's a Z instead of an S. So those little things, you know, pick up as you go. You know, when you learn the word, learn how to say it, learn where the accent is, learn how to spell it, learn everything you can about that word. And you just become solid in that word as you go. And with each word you pick up, you become solid. All right, well, today's podcast is going to be all about spelling in Spanish. We've learned the alphabet. We've learned our vowels. We've learned how to use the letters in the Spanish alphabet. You know, they're really similar to the English letters. We just have to kind of make some adjustments as we're using them in speaking Spanish so that we'll sound more like a native speaker. All right, well, let's get going, friends. On this episode, what I want to do is allow you to put into practice what we learned on the third episode on YouTube, and that is simply learning and thinking through how to spell each word. So what I want to do is I'm just going to go through a list of words with you while you're listening, and when I give you a word, I want you to listen to how the word sounds, and I want you to spell it out in your head, and yes, if you're in the car and nobody's going to think you're crazy, spell it out loud and try to use the Spanish alphabet if you can. Now, I know, you know, it may still be getting used to some of those letters, but it's always great to be able to spell a word in Spanish using the Spanish alphabet. You know, so if you're spelling hola, don't say H-O-L-A. Say H-O-L-A. And really start practicing those letters. All right, friends, here we go. Now, I'm going to say the words, and I want you to try to spell it in Spanish. Okay, I'm going to break it up into parts. The first word is simply the word for paper, and that is papel. Papel. Okay, so you went through those sounds in your head. First of all, there was the sound pa. That's P-A or P-A as we say in Spanish. And the next sound was pel. Pel. So think about, you know, that's that P sound and the E in the middle can only be one thing. That's the letter E. And then, of course, we have the L at the end. So if we spell that whole word in Spanish, it's P, A, P, E, L. All right, let's go to the next word. Now, this is a really simple word that probably I'm, you know, most of us have heard, even if we don't know Spanish. And the word is the word for house. And the word is casa. Casa. Now, before you spell that, I want to remind you that we don't use K's in Spanish really that much. And it's not a Q-U sound, so it pretty much only leaves one other letter for that K sound at the beginning. So take a minute to spell casa. All right, you should have spelled C-A-S-A. -S -A. Now, if you were in the Spanish alphabet, that would be C. A, S, A, A. All right, let's move to another word. We're going to do several in this episode, give you some good practice today. The next word is going to be the word for flag, and that is bandera, bandera. I'm going to say it slow. You have ban and de, and then that flap, ra, bandera. Take a second to spell that. All right, you should have spelled ban with B-A-N, de, D-E, 
and ra with r a. So here's how the whole word sounds in Spanish if you're spelling it. B a n d e r a. All right, let's move to the next one. The next one is the word for castle. It's castillo. Castillo. We have cas t yo. Now remember which letter in the alphabet makes that y sound. It's a double letter. All right, take a second to spell it. Okay, you should have spelled C A S for cas. T would be T I. And yo is double L O. Castillo. Now that would sound like this, spelling it in Spanish. C A S T I E Y O. Let's go to the next word. This word means pen, and it's kind of a long word. It does have an accent in it. So when you spell this word, this is how you do it. You say the letter, and then you say acento after it. You can also say con acento, with accent. But it's not accento. You're not saying the, the, the English accent. You're saying acento. So you, if it was an I with an accent, you would say E acento. If it were an O with an accent, you would say O acento. Just like that, okay? So here's the word boligrafo. Boligrafo. Now, before you spell it, listen to how I'm stressing one particular syllable, okay? And that means there's an accent there. Boligrafo. Boligrafo. All right, take a second to spell it. Okay, you should have spelled bo with B-O, li with L-I with an accent. That's where that accent was, in the li. That's where we were stressing it when we said it. The gra is G-R-A, and fo is F-O. This is how it would sound if we spelled it in Spanish. B-O-L-I-Acento. G R A F O Boligrafo. Now let's get ready to do our next practice. All right. Let's move to another one. This word means platform, as in a platform or area where you would wait on a train. And there is an accent in this one as well. So I'm going to just say it a few times and let you pick up on where that accent would be and then spell it. Here we go. The word is anden, anden, anden. Okay, take a minute to spell that. All right, so that an, it's pretty clear that's an A and an N, and then you have den, Den, D, E with an accent, N. So spelling that in Spanish would sound like this. A, N, D, E acento, N. Let's move to the next one. The next one is sueño, sueño, sueño. So you have that N sound in there. Now listen to the beginning, sue. Sue. So think about which vowels sound like u e. Sueño. Take a second to spell that. All right. You should have spelled su with s u, e with the letter e, and nia with the n with the tilde, and o, the letter o. So this is how it would sound spelling it in Spanish. S U E N Y O. All right, let's do a few more. Here's the word that means I want. I want. Quiero. 
quiero. Now, before you spell this one, it's not a K, it's not a C. A C before an I, you hear that E, quiero. So that's an I. So a C before an I would sound like S instead of K. So we know it's not a K because we don't use Ks. We know it's not a C because that wouldn't follow the rule. So it has to be one other letter. There's only one other letter that makes the K sound in Spanish, and that is the letter Q. And always remember that Q cannot be by itself. He always has to have the letter U with him. He's just, he just got to have her there. So Q-U to make that K sound. All right, so quiero, quiero. Take a minute to spell it. Okay, you should have Q, U, make that K sound, because Q always has to have U. E would be the letter I, and then the E sound would be the letter E. And then the ro, the flap, would be an R-O. So spelling it in Spanish would sound like this. Cu, u, i, e, ere, o. All right, we got one more we're going to try. And the word is carretera. 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 Okay, we have ca and then re. You hear that trill? Te. And then, ra, carretera. All right, spell that one. Okay, the ca would be a C-A. The re would be a double R to make that trill. And then the E, which would make the E sound. And then we have te which is T-E, and we have ra, which is R-A. So spelling it in Spanish would sound like this. Se, A, doble R, E, T, E, R, A. Well, friends, that is all for this episode. We have really practiced our spelling in this episode and I, I hope that it's helped you a lot to progress and move forward and to feel better about using those letters in Spanish. I really appreciate you hanging out with me here on this episode. I'm so glad that I'm able to help you with your adventure in learning Spanish and wherever you are right now in the world. I hope you're having a great day, uh, morning, an afternoon, or a night, wherever you are. And I wish for you all the best and all the blessings and I will see you very next time we're together on The Language Tutor. Hasta pronto.